brothers takes me every time i remind this to you but i have to do this because satan is powerful and he will delude you this world our world has been possessed by those demons and you are the last few good men and you have to protect his heritage and i have to protect you He will lay down beds. And he has the company of Asmodi and beautiful young woman. and once you commit blasphemy it's all over How did I end up here, man? You were passed out when they brought you here. What happened with you outside? You guys won't believe what I saw. When I escaped, the world was totally different from what we know. The earth laughs in flowers. The birds were chirping. The earth delights to feel my bare feet, and winds longs to play with my hair. There was everything except demons That was a nice one man I'm not kidding Have you completely lost it brother I told you won't believe I think he has gone insane watching too much evil outside. I think he's been sent by Satan to lure us out of here so that he could end us all at once. Fool! You scoundrel! You kept What us in darkness. There, man? What is wrong with him? Do you believe me? Yes. We have baptized him. The devil will no more bother him. Do you have faith in me? Yes. The human brain is the world's best pattern recognition machine. It is based more on pattern matching than on logic and that is something that cult leaders have learned the power of repetition there is the big lie effect that if you tell a lie over and over again people will start to believe it the model often starts with unconscious incompetence which means you don't know you need to know something people who are in this category would not even try understand what we are talking about 
they would not even try to figure things out. If you are still listening, the model then moves to conscious incompetence. That is, you don't know, but at least you know you should learn. And if you are trying to figure things out, you are probably in this category. Only about 10% of the population ever get here. The human brain has so much space that we can only use a fraction of it. If we do have a vast memory storage, we certainly don't have equal access to that storage. And the part of our brains that we have the most access to are the parts that we think about the most. Curl leaders exploit that using repetition so that their message is always in the top of our brain. Their message then interconnects with the rest of individual's life experiences and connects itself deep into the individual's self-identity. And now you have a core belief that you even confuse with your identity. When you are presented with evidence that works against that belief, the new evidences cannot be accepted. It would create a feeling that is extremely uncomfortable. This is called cognitive dissonance. And because it is so important to protect the core belief, you will rationalize, ignore, and even deny anything that does not fit in with the core belief. The extreme cases, you would even kill the evidence. It is like a poisoning of the mind where repetitive belief becomes dominant and rational thinking atrophies. A truth's initial commotion is directly proportional to how deeply the lie was believed. It wasn't the world being round that agitated people, but that the world was not flat. When a well-packaged web of lies have been sold gradually to the masses over generations, the truth will seem utterly preposterous and its speaker a raving lunatic. We don't want you to come to a conclusion, rather we just want you to pursue the truth. After all, confusions are better than prejudiced conclusions.